Hello there. Welcome to Josie K Tarot. I'm Josie K and this is the daily spiritual guidance reading for the collective for the energy surrounding us from September 26th into and through September 27th of 2022. So spirit is here to guide those at this time who are waiting on some form of conversation. The ring energy jumped out at me right away in the area of home and family. So this could be someone who's thinking about marriage, commitment, partnerships, or contracts, or about their soulmates, right? Our family and friends, the people that were meant to be with us on this journey at this time. So there is some research going on here. Is this all good, right? Good in the hood. Is this soul connection doing okay? Uh, there is the book energy, so a message from spirit to research a situation for a little bit longer here. If you are thinking about a soul connection at this time, it is time to create new memories, right? The next uh, chapter, a higher, better, more fulfilling, happy journey, okay? So we have the 26th, which ironically is the day I am filming this, talking about marriages, commitments, partnerships, and in some cases, fear. Okay, the snake energy can represent someone who is carrying energies of lies and deception. But this could definitely be someone who is fearful of where things are headed because they're thinking that someone is the snake, that someone's not being honest and truthful. So in the relationship sector, we have the magnifying glass. Spirit is saying to the collective at this time, it's time to research all that you've learned through previous connections in your life and to face your fears about whatever these burdens represent. And we're going to get to that in a minute. So Spirit's trying to give the collective this passionate feminine energy. I am feeling September 29th very strongly with that card. There's a feminine energy. Or someone whose heart is open, who is looking closely at, she's actually waiting. See, she's looking out the window and she's waiting. This isn't a card of two people. This is someone, he or she, who is waiting for uh, the truth, maybe, because there's fear of trust here. So Spirit's offering up this beautiful, magical uh, magnifying glass in the relationship sector so that you could research a relationship, a soul connection, and get clear about a new direction of sorts. So this is a beautiful card in the subconscious position up here of the circle spread. We have Spirit offering this beautiful magical golden bridge, bridging the collective to look more closely at some form of relationship or to wait. If, if you're fearful of some form of communication, this communication is gonna happen one way or another. Wow, someone may be born around the 12th. I got the 12th of March which is crazy. I've never gotten that before with that card. Anyway, someone's waiting and is thinking about communication and the owl energies is about a specific person so that you can research forward movement here. So Spirit's offering up a magnifying glass and is saying, look more closely at a commitment partnership because eventually we're going to move you into the direction of having a conversation here that will free you from the energies of burden. So there are many, I feel, that are very passionate about something they're taking care of and, and someone on the other end is dragging their feet. But Spirit's saying, take action to remain patient, okay? With this card, trust and prayer. It could be that around the 29th of September, you finally get the answers you are seeking in the area of insurance. I feel feel and have learned through personal readings that the Mercury retrograde that's transpiring right now into and through around October 2nd, I believe, of 2022, there's been a lot of things that have uh, kind of went kaput, and I feel like the insurance companies are feeling rather busy. And so Spirit's saying, wait till around the 29th because you may get a conversation, a call back here that will help you to be able to move forward. Interesting. 
So really, uh, the message is to wait as you contemplate a commitment partnership contract that you are researching at this time. The conversation will come and eventually you will learn what it is you were hoping for. What it is you were passionate about is finally leading you into this beautiful new direction. Away from this energy of burden being represented by the cross. So emotionally, uh, the fox energy is about sly cunning, maybe even some form of manipulative behavior. Again, I feel like someone's looking at a relationship relationship partnership person and you're trying you're fearful of the fact that they maybe shouldn't be trusted so spirit saying wait there is more to learn sit and observe pray to spirit for answers and trust that the conversation you are waiting for will come wait patiently and trust that eventually the burdens that are preventing you from taking action at this time, which really is a moment of pause and reflection before things move forward. Switch your perspective from not trusting someone, or if you really wait and communicate, it could be that you start to feel uh, more burdened here because you're not getting the information you need from someone else. So look at this. On the bottom of the Gypsy Oracle deck, we got the waiting card for a conversation. Amen. Wow. Some may be wanting to meet up, communicate, have a conversation with, maybe even virtually, someone who has Pisces in their chart with the water energy of the fish. Or if you're thinking about money, if you're planning the next chapter of your life when it comes to money and abundance, remember this conversation is going to come. Um, for some, it may be around the 12th of October, so Spirit saying have hope. Continue to research and wait and contemplate uh, what this new bridge over here is about. Because eventually there could be a meeting here where there is uh, some form of abundance or money. Yes, free your mind and the rest will follow. Spirit's saying eventually there will be a realization of a wish come true. Spirit's listening to your prayers and is helping you to free your mind with the cage energy. Some are waiting regarding a masculine at a distance and or maybe feeling a bit distant and unsure when it comes to this feminine energy. So there's definitely a need for communication. We talked about that, I think, a lot last week in the live YouTube podcast. We just had the uh, new moon in Virgo on the 25th, which was yesterday. So it is indeed energy of sharing both good and bad feelings, right? Being who you really are, because this is a time to delve into our feelings and, and acknowledge the truth of someone here. There needs to be balance and harmony by asking questions and then um, trusting that shallow relationships will not satisfy. Okay? This is a time at the end of September, Spirit Sane, with the... I think it's a waxing moon in Sagittarius. There's going to be a process of I'm creating a life now with meaning and purpose. I'm getting passionate and excited in the creative aspects position about commitments, partnerships, contracts, signing on the dotted line, purchasing something, and finally receiving the information that you need. Being freed from a burden of should I or shouldn't I and moving into the direction of in some cases, that the information you're waiting for is going to come from this masculine. But the main message is to trust that there will be some form of meeting. There will be money for what you're hoping for or enough to purchase something new. That's going to work out. Because I checked on the bottom of the tea leaf, fortune card, whatever deck, I'm sorry. And we had the carrot energy. Opportunity or windfall. So some of you may be noticing carrots on commercials, Facebook, uh, television, something. If a carrot shows up, that is a message from spirit to trust that an opportunity or a windfall is coming your way. And this has been building for a period of time. But we have to acknowledge what this fear is about here. So I'm going to confirm and clarify these messages with the gilded tarot deck please confirm and clarify any astrological signs and or elements of who by which spirit is trying to communicate about during september 26th and 27th 
Yep, so we've seen this card a lot, both the Nine and the Ten of Swords. And the Ten of Swords is my favorite because the Swords of Worry and Fear and Sadness and Regret and Heartache, they're all dissipating. And Spirit's sending in this beautiful angel in the form of the Reindeer saying, Take all of that knowledge and wisdom. Stand up and create a path of victory. You know, trust that. Uh, there will be, look at that, the Ten of Cups energy, but some are getting in their way, their own way when it comes to fear. All right. So this is about trusting that you're meant to wait at this time. And that even though this is the 26th and 27th of September reading, it's going to be closer to the 29th for many of the collective here will come where a conversation will come after researching a connection for a period of time. Beautiful. So Ten of Cups right after the Ten of Swords. From the sadness to emotional fulfillment. See, some are going to be recognized for your hard work and efforts and skills here with the Six of Wands. Wands representing home, family, and or business. So really looking at someone who's coming in here to uh, give you a lot of attention in the relationship sector. That process of waiting and trusting in prayer is going to bring you out of this energy of fear with the snake into the direction of a happily ever after with the Ten of Cups. So you'll be thinking that instead of about the burdens of having to wait. So this is just spirit saying this is a moment of pause before things take off. And when I said that, we got the major arcana, the chariot here. So spirit in the creative aspects position is bringing someone from this energy of I know what it is I'm passionate about. And we got the 29th, the 29th, uh, there will be travel. OK, you could be traveling in a direction, someone towards you. But the chariot is about getting beyond past obstacles and challenges and going into the direction of a path of success and victory. So there is attention and recognition coming that is going to make the collective feel really happy. Like I'm no longer worried or fearful because what I've been waiting for has come. Okay, so again, um, free yourself from the burden of I have to wait on something. I'm not getting the answers or the callback that I want because Spirit's saying something is taking place in the background. The Ten of, uh, I'm sorry, the Knight of Pentacles is money that is coming, but it is uh, a slow moving energy. There's a lot of contemplation, research, and so on. Maybe someone needs to travel into the direction of something in order to uh, get an answer to uh, give you an answer. So emotionally, we have, ooh, for some, if you're single, right away, I felt the energy of the Knight of Wands. Someone's coming in, or they did, very passionately, but unexpectedly here. And there is a fear here. There's like a desire to move beyond a, a journey of difficulty into a path of a happily ever after. But with the Knight of Wands and the Snake and the Fox, there's definitely a warning here to kind of slow your roll and give something some time. Yeah, someone's going to give you a lot of passionate attention, but you may be feeling burdened in the area of, you know, what the outcome is going to be. Why someone came in quickly or will, and then why they're ending up dragging their feet. So we don't want to end up back in the Ten of Swords energy. Remember, subconsciously, we have the bridge. So, ooh, exciting communication. Spirit saying we are going to guide you away from, if this is your energy of a fox or a snake, someone who shouldn't be trusted, trust that the reason Spirit's giving you this beautiful, magical, golden bridge is to bridge you into the direction of another passionate connection. I'm getting a bunch of messages, so I'll try to get to each different person's energy if I can. I'll kind of split it up and descri describe some other perspectives and situations. So uh, in the day-to-day -day aspects position, we have a wish coming true when it comes to some form of communication. Some may be thinking about or waiting on someone who has Aquarius in their chart with the star card. But there is a path that has gone full circle and now uh, the difficulties of the past are falling away. Someone may be researching communication with someone whereby you're recognizing that a wish has come true. Marriage commitment partnership. Somebody's coming towards you and that's where this passion starts to uh, it grows. I am feeling strongly also fire sign energy. So if you are or are connecting with someone who has fire in their chart, Sag, Aries, or Leo, uh, trust that eventually uh, the communication you've been waiting for will come. 
there will be a conversation and a wish come true because maybe they thought they thought about a different direction for a period of time but i feel like they started feeling burdened in some in some way and are turning around and coming back towards you so that could be for uh, whoever's energy that represents. In the inner strengths position, we have the beautiful Major Arcana, the world card. That has been a very popular card, both collectively and personally. So Spirit's saying the reason we're having you wait is because we are helping you with the Major Arcana, the world, to bring things full circle. We're bringing things full circle for you and eventually will bring to mind uh, a new path, uh, a blessed path. Uh, the freedom of what was a new commitment partnership contract and the money that you have been waiting for. Communication is coming um, unexpectedly, I think, in the area of money. Someone thought that they couldn't trust someone and then something really good took place or that's what's going to happen here. It's going to come to mind here on September 26th or 27th. So in a three card summary, we do have uh, the 26th energy being about, you know, is there a balanced connection with someone? I'm not quite sure. Yeah, someone here is conflicted. Inner, there's inner conflict with the Five of Swords regarding those around them or communication, building or celebrating a new home or family situation. Yeah, so someone is hoping for a new path. Two major arcanas here. So a big deal for someone in the area of marriage commitment partnership with the Justice card. Should I or shouldn't I? Is this the karmic path I was meant to go towards? Yes. This is someone changing their mind. Again, they're recognizing that this is indeed a soul connection with you. Therefore, they've got to leave the past behind and trust that spirit has led them into the direction of you. So in some cases, uh, this if you're a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, yeah. Someone's wanting to come towards you. Oh my, I see and I have been seeing a lot of passionate energy, creativity, finance and career uh, coming in to bless uh, someone here who is unsure about their partnership or unsure about maybe someone in a leadership position. Father figure, grandfather figure, or fire sign, Sagittarius or Leo. Yeah. See, this is odd. We've got the Seven of Swords energy of, I, and this is normally someone who shouldn't be trusted. And we do have someone coming in quickly and unexpectedly for some of you, or they did. And Spirit's saying, slow down, give that situation some time. Someone wants to make a wish come true with the Nine of Cups. And then I think this is one of those cases with Spirit where they're saying, be careful what you wish for. Okay, when it comes to money. You can have enough if you get together and share your gifts, your talents, your skills, and who you are with those around you. Because Spirit is helping with another very popular card and two major arcanas by the end of the 27th of September. A realization here that um, you just need to have hope. So maybe a hopeful conversation brings you into the realization that there is travel into the direction of a new chapter, commitment partnerships, contracts, success and victory. After waiting for a period of time, there's a realization that, wow, a new, something new is going to evolve and it's going to either come on the 29th of September or it um, the date comes to mind. But Spirit, either way, is saying have hope and trust that with the Judgment Card, we, Spirit, are helping you uh, to make the highest, best decision for yourself. Acknowledging the truth of a situation with the Ace of Swords. Acknowledging a brand new path in the area of business, finance, career. Acknowledging that it's time to cut away from an old path or situations and walk away from what no longer fulfills you or who. So that is like a watery energy. I think there's just a big message to get clear about the Seven of Swords. Some may just be thinking that there's conflict regarding another. But this is a time in this new moon of Virgo to, again, share your feelings. If you fear that someone can't, that there's unhealthy energy, this is a time to find and venture towards balance and harmony with the chariot energy in the creative aspects position. How do we create balance and harmony? We ask questions. We delve into our feelings. We get to the truth of all situations because we are 
the king or queen of our path, right? And at this time, uh, shallow relationships will not satisfy because there are new lives being created with meaning and with purpose. And that's the direction spirit's trying to guide us towards. So like with the Ace of Swords, if we finally recognize that a wish has come true through conversations with another, uh, then we can let go of the burden of waiting. Waiting for some, maybe on an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, but I'm feeling more like waiting on money. The money will come, but the more someone worries about a situation, the slower that process becomes, right? That negative energy pushes back this wish come true via a conversation. So wait and trust that it will come and you'll receive attention, recognition, and the ability to look very, very closely and acknowledge you know, who needs to go in which direction you are headed, who needs to be forgotten or brought into harmony with so that you can move forward. Okay, so I'm going to close with a message from the Guardian Angel deck by Doreen Virtue for the collective spiritual advice for September 26th and 27th of 2022. Oh, see, so embrace those around you. The number five is about obstacles and challenges. Free yourself, like we saw with that cage energy, of obstacles and challenges in your thoughts. Embrace those around you and find harmony. For this is a time of spirit, great spiritual growth for the collective and for you. Making it even more important to surround yourself with those who love you and who share your beliefs. Those are the people that spirit's saying you're meant to to go forward with. So be willing to accept help from others. For some could find comfort in traditional solutions or your heart may long to try out new ideas. So traditional ideas in this numerological number six year of 2022 uh, is what's going to grow within us. If we do something that we truly love, it could turn into a profitable profitable long-term business it could turn into some form of tr family tradition so someone here has been putting off decisions or you may feel as though you are doing so um, but it's likely that you will know at some point here which choice that you should make so some may be procrastinating for fear that you're going to upset someone but again now with the new moon in Virgo as of September 25th, it's time to share your good and bad feelings and to just be you. Delve into your feelings and create a life of meaning and purpose. It is time for healing and comfort. So let spirit lead you away from unhealthy worries and fears and trust that whatever projects you are working for at this time, it will be a total success. This Knight of Pentacles is on their way. It's just spirits lining up the timing and the whole situation for you. Some will be receiving awards, promotions, or other recognition for their efforts. Well done. Should these messages have resonated for you and you have further questions about your own personal journey, feel free to write me for a personal reading via my email, which is josiek42 at gmail.com. I offer four one-half-hour video readings, and they are a one-month, three-month, six-month, or yearly reading, and my price list will be in the box below this video. Uh, along with the comment section, thank you so much subscribers for letting me know exactly how these messages resonated for you and how they helped you to guide you into a higher path of peace, joy, and happiness. Thank you for your likes, your shares, and please click subscribe. Thank you to those of you who've attended the live Zoom cast on Wednesdays and or the live YouTube podcasts on Thursdays, both at noon U.S. Central Time. Thank you for those donations as well. Take care and God bless.